People ask me all the time, hey Rex L. Ray, how you do so much? Listen, you get your ass off the couch and go do something. You go do something. You go do something. I've been living live since I've been alive. Even as a child, I learned to use my mind. It don't matter the subject, I picked it up and I did it. With these two hands, I saw my life and I built it. Hey guys, Rex L. Ray here, and today I've got a really quick DIY. Uh, I fish a lot with live shrimp, so I um, wanted to show you guys uh, my setup here. Now this is a traditional size uh, trolling uh, bucket, and I opted to get a bigger one. Uh, I picked this up at Academy, they're actually um, around the same, same price. So this holds a little bit more water, um, so I wanted to get a bigger size bait bucket, mainly because I keep this out of the water um, a lot of times. So. Normally, you just kind of drag these around when you're weight fishing, but um, so what I did is I just set up a, a quick access for um, an aerator. So I drilled a hole, and one thing I hate with, um, with bait buckets is I'm always losing the stone or the stone falls in. So what I did is um, I did a quick little rig here. Pretty much I just drilled a hole, um, and then I, I pulled the tube through this 1420 stainless steel nut and that keeps my stone in the bucket at all times. Also I drilled two holes here and I ran a zip uh, a zip tie through it and this allows me to put my aerator in and out really quickly. And the reason you want to be able to pull your aerator in and out really quickly is because what I do is when I get to my fishing spot um, I have my aerator on and this is just sitting on, on the deck of my kayak. When I get to my spot, I just quickly remove the tube, remove the aerator, and I've got a leash on here, and I just throw this in the water so my shrimp can get some fresh water uh, and they stay alive longer. So that's a real quick and easy setup here with live shrimp. And I opted to go this route as opposed to uh, the other DIYs you see out there. Um, a lot of people have been using uh, dog food containers um, and then they're running a, uh, an aerator through there with a battery uh, and I think that's a really awesome design but for my particular needs um, I just didn't like having to to remove the water and put fresh water in there uh, so I always want to be able to give my shrimp um, fresh water that way they'll stay alive longer I also did it with my main bait bucket so here I did the same thing with my with my five gallon um, bait bucket so Again, I use a stainless steel nut, drill the hole right through it, and then drill two holes with a zip tie uh, through it so I can put my aerator in, quickly take it out, and I'm not having to thread my aerator uh, tube through this little hole all the time. So this now allows me to get bait faster. Now, these, these are just minor, minor DIYs, but they're really helpful and, and really efficient. So um, I hope you like this setup. And last, since I am fishing with live shrimp a lot, uh, I fish really shallow water. So um, I usually run about 12 to 18 inches um, from my hook to my popping cork. I love these little small Cajun um, popping corks, these little rattlers. Uh, allows me to quickly adjust the depth so just depending on, on how deep of water I'm fishing and I constantly adjust the depth just to see where the fish are uh, where they're holding and just to present my bait um, a little bit better all right if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, don't forget to check out my other DIY videos uh, and also don't forget to check out my GoPro fishing videos and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for checking it out. See you guys later. Get your ass off the couch and go do something. You go do something. You go do something. You gon' lose every game that you don't play. You gon' stay the same, let you see change. Things gon' change, like it or not. So when life give you lemons, what you gon' do? Stop. These hands were made for working, and that's just how I do. And y'all can sit here talking. I gotta move. I gotta go. I got things to do. You ain't getting a quarter unless you really earn it. I'ma give you a dollar if you can 
double it up I'ma give you a 20 if you got something to teach me We can all get rich, yes it's that easy These hands were made for working 